Okay, this morning, crypto is under fire. Crypto is in trouble. Crypto is in trouble. Over the past few days, crypto has come under fire through the means of Binance being in trouble with regulatory bodies around the world. Ontario in Canada is questioning Binance operation. Binance said they're pulling out of Canada by the end of 2021. Well, they, they're pulling out of Ontario by the end of 2021, but that could only be a smoke signal. Japan has warned Binance um, another smoke signal. This morning, the UK has banned Binance. We know that China has put a lot of regulations in place against the whole crypto mining and all of that. So that what we're seeing is there is a war basically on crypto. If you're a government, you control your money you know how your money moves. Another system comes around that challenges that you don't know where the money is going. You don't know who has the money. Money can move from one territory to the other. What do you do? You start to put out in regulations to control that. Remember, two things they say are sure in life. Debt and taxes. If we don't know where the money is, we don't know how to tax you. We don't know where you're hiding it. So... The governments are putting their foot down to make sure that crypto, Bitcoin, any other coin does not replace their dollars in transactions. What happens to crypto? How does this affect crypto? Well, let me tell you. If you spread a rumor that a bank is going bankrupt, everyone, whether or not that rumor is true, pulls their money out of the bank. It causes a run on the bank and the bank crashes. Crypto basically could be in that position right now because a lot of people that are holding crypto would try to change their asset if crypto is an asset, if crypto is an asset, if crypto is an asset, back into fiat dollars. This is a war on crypto. Is crypto dead? My question from last week. Um, last week, my feeling is that it was a great dip and there may be opportunity. Once you get such of a war against crypto, I don't know where the opportunity is. Because I think right now people would be taking the opportunity to pull their money out. They may leave some profit in it. Like I, I am not touching mine. But I'm not adding. I'm not going to take it as a chance to buy in. Um, it's again a wait and see situation. It's a tricky one because once regulations coming everywhere, citizens will be affected by law as to whether or not they can invest in crypto. It starts with Binance. And we don't know which other ones would be affected. Wait and see. Is crypto dead? The question keeps coming back up. Ah, uh, it gets worse. Ah, uh, it gets worse. Binance has basically been banned from Ontario. They are on warning from Japan. And now they're banned in the UK. Um, or is crypto being killed? We really don't know. We have to wait and see.